plate of my water. All right, so to get started, I want to see you stretch your own body for three or four minutes. I just want to see how you relax and open your body. Good, always get both sides. So where do you feel the stretch on that one? Um, um, right now on this hip. Nice. Yeah, right there. Always notice where you feel a stretch. That awareness will help you get a better stretch. Very good transitions, very smooth. I was doing that just today. Hamstring. Oh, yeah. that I was just working out with with the shoulder issue, she doesn't stretch enough. Um, her body's so tight, that's what her physical therapist said, that she really needs to do more stretching. Oh. Most people do. Now pull your foot back up towards your head. Ah, ah. Not with your hand, just just stretching, just stretching. Okay. Yeah, it'll open your uh, hip flexor. I didn't remember if I actually did that three times. See, I can talk and I lose count. Hmm. I would have done hip rocks too, because I forgot it. I actually all did all of this stuff earlier, so kind of on. So I would have done hip rocks. And that was something on. Um, Fingertips. Um, so cool. Okay, so you're doing a great job of remembering all of my exercises, but what I'm curious about is how does your body want to use the ball to stretch, like... Oh, and I would have... I love to do this. 
It just feels so good. Love to do this, which was so frightening when we first did this. I'm like, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> A little lazy pigeon. Work my shoulders. Hmm. Okay, good job. Come up. So you, you've done a great, great job of remembering uh, my exercises. Um, and this, I like to do a little monkey stretch too. That's yeah. I still have too many of them without names. Uh, <laughs> um, and I, so, I like to do this. Sometimes I just sit there and do this. Like the hang like this. Yes. Yeah, I like that too. So um, there are a couple of a couple of things that I want to go over uh, tonight. I want to see where you're at on your form, but primarily what I want to focus on with you is beginning to work on improvisation. Do you know what improvisation is? Or I just kind of do what I feel like. Right. Im improvisation is making stuff up as you go. And it is, um, it's one of the most important skills I ever learned in my life. I joined an improv uh, company after college. Uh, I performed with them for three or four years. Um, and it is one of the reasons that Wallace was able to get the kind of movement that she was able to get was because I made her improvise a lot. And what that does is not only does it take you deeper into your core and your balance because you end up exploring way more axes than just the ones in the form, um, but it gives you a an experience with the feeling of freedom, the feeling of play and experimentation, right? Where you don't fear messing up. There's no reason to fear messing up because if you know you're making it up, you can't mess up something that hadn't even happened yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so I want to begin to uh, focus on that with you because the new girl I'm training, Gallia, um, she learned the whole dragonfly form in three two-hour sessions. Nice. And is not doing it like, uh, you know, ready to shoot level, uh, but, but she knows the whole thing and just needs a little bit of styling to be ready to shoot. So she is a very, very fast learner. Mm -hmm. um, I've also refined um, the steps to teaching someone uh, you know, the process of, of teaching all these different people. So the process has gotten more refined as well. Um, but a big part of, I believe, her learning as fast as she did is that I've had her improvising since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it, it's something that just comes naturally to her, so I didn't really have to teach her. I just had to give her space, you know, to play. Um, some people need to be taught to improvise because they've never had space to really play and be creative, you know. So I don't know where you're at in that spectrum, but I know that you have to start just playing, and I want to see your play. Okay. Because that's where, that's where whatever it is you feel like you're missing in terms of gracefulness, in terms of flow, that's where you're going to find it is in that spontaneity. That makes sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is you're going to watch me and I'm going to improvise and I want you to try to remember what I do. I want you to pay attention. 
attention to the way that I explore. Make sense? Okay. And then it's going to be your turn, and I'm going to watch you explore. Before I knew what we were going to be doing, I would I would just roll around on the ball. Uh, say that again. Before we started our work together, uh huh. Bar, I would just roll around on the ball. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what yeah. I like to do. So <laughs> I, I want you to roll around on the bar, but using using the bar with the ball. Yeah. Now, as you do it, yes, so now as you do it, I'm going to talk to you about what I focus on when I'm moving. And one of the primary things I focus on is the feeling of stretching in my body. Uh -huh. So right there, you're going to be stretching one or both of your shoulders. Yeah. You're also probably going to be stretching your low back. Mm -hmm. So as I'm moving, I'm thinking, I'm feeling what my body is stretching, and I'm letting what I feel determine where I move next, not thinking in terms of how do I make a pretty pose. Uh -huh. I'm feeling what feels good, gorgeous. I'm feeling what feels good and I'm letting that feeling lead my body. I use softness. I use the sensation of gravity. I use emotive movement. Certain movements feel like an emotion and I let that emotion move through my body. Awesome. Now, as you're going, don't move so quickly through all these different poses that you don't have time to appreciate the feeling of each spot. Don't rush through everything. Really feel it and let yourself continue to explore, but be present with each part. It reminds me of a lot of, you know, Nia? Ever heard of the dance, Nia? Yes. yes. They have a, a part called floor play where you just make contact with the floor and you move slowly. Yes, that's gorgeous. And the idea is when you really find your balance, when you really feel gravity, when you really feel chi, 
you'll be able to move your body like you're floating in water, 360 degrees in every direction, and everything will be soft and fluid and controlled, but completely free. Nice. Notice that when you really listen to your body, it tells you what it wants. Mm -hmm. doing that one today. Yeah, I was doing this one the other day. This felt so nice. Mm. I guess technically that would be inverted splits also, just perpendicular to the bar. So your homework this week is to find your favorite movie score and put it on and move like this for an hour. All right. That will be fun. The movie score, the emotion in the in the music, that's pretty. The emotion in the music will affect how you move. Very nice. And coming back up to the center. How'd that feel? Nice. Awesome. It looked nice. And that's where your training should come from. That kind of space. Right? That's right. how you warm up. That's how you should prepare. And then whatever you do, whether it's the form, whether it's some exercises, whether it's something, you know, I taught you, start in that place of relaxation and freedom and then focus on whatever you want to focus on after you've got that space. Make sense? Yes. Yes. Awesome. So now I want to drill some of these moves that you've been working on because it looks like you got them. Uh -huh. um, show me your barrel roll. And we're going to do 10 of them. Nice. Ah. I always have one side that's like, oh. That's all right. One.
You know, you can break a fingernail doing this. <laughs> I'm going to use that in your testimonial. <laughs> That's two. I didn't know you meant all the way across the back was one. <laughs> oh, nice. I feel sure about that. Ah! Losing my ball. All right. Great work. Three. That's three. I rolled over my hair earlier today. That was fun. Uh oh. It's going to be too long. Ah! Yep. Don't be afraid to use the floor. I would say just go halfway there. Don't try to make that full one on the second one because that's too close. Nice. Four. Four feels like cheating. Well, there's no cheating if you're doing the work. Skipping out of work, that's definitely cheating. Nice. I have this kid on my soccer team, my, my son's soccer team. Unfortunately, he's the son of the coach, the main coach. I'm the assistant uh -huh. coach. And he's just the worst player, team member ever. Uh -huh. And it's, and it's totally nice. Five. And it's totally changed my perception of like all students. Like all students seem incredible, credible to me now. Uh huh. they're not, they're not Nick. <laughs> yeah, my daughter was substitute teaching today at a school. She had to have never subbed at me. Yeah, she said it's amazing. The kid's trying to shock her with um talking about her piercing and. You know, she's not in sixth grade, but she's just trying to impress the substitute teacher. I'm glad I don't work in the school system. Mm hmm. Takes a special Six. person. One more. Ah. It's bad enough to teach adults. <laughs> mm hmm. And she's a college professor, too, so the stuff adults try to get away with, too, she's amazed at. Mm-hmm. Plagiarism. Seven. Whoa! Mama! One. The bar keeps moving. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Two more. Okay. We might have to lose our John Lennon. John Lennon? Oh. <laughs> So you're going to need this barrel roll for what you're learning tonight. And I'm glad you sent me the video that you were doing it because I might not have given you this this level up if I hadn't known you had this now. Oh, you, I don't feel like I'm doing so not smooth. That's all right. You're doing it. It'll get smoother the more you practice it. Oh, thank you. I'm too far off. Sometimes I have to start on my back when I lose it. Yeah, I want your belly button under the center of the bar. Ah. 
Awesome. No, that's good enough. Come on. That's awesome. Shake it out. Stretch it. Stretch it. Very nice work. Here you get some water. I want to see uh, your flipsy. Your flipsy thingy. I think this is where I go all over my hair, so it's coming up. Uh, it kind of stops you from flipping when your hair's on the ball. I completely understand. The last sailboat's coming out of the water now. Uh, is that a euphemism? No, I actually, it's a sailboat. <laughs> Oh, right now. got you. <laughs> That's a bad sign. These winter's coming. Uh oh. Ah, all right. Oh, at least you got someone to cuddle up with and eat chestnuts in front of the fire. That's right. <laughs> Nice. Ah! Woo! That was improvising. Uh, that was good. That was a good exit, though. I tell people it doesn't hurt the ball. It's not that far. Doesn't hurt the ball. Ball. Oh, it doesn't hurt the ball. Oh, got you. Everyone's so afraid of falling. Right. I had a ball burst once. Um, a window had broken, and I guess I missed a little splinter of glass. And I was jumping on the ball, and phew, it didn't hurt. It was just loud. Right. That cushion of air keeps your butt from landing. That's two. Was it an anti-burst ball? No, I think it was a cheap pink. Got it at Walmart ball. Nice. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My little monkey feet. Your whole body's a monkey body right now. It's awesome. And no matter how good you think you're doing at that, you got to have your balance really well to be able to stay on top of the ball there. So don't, yeah. I, don't want, I don't want any poo-poos because that's just like awesome. Um, and that's five. Learning how to go sideways. I'm going at an angle. Nice. Why not? Two more. Cheat, grab it with my foot. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, so now we're gonna do um, we're gonna do two add-ons for each of these movements um, as your exercises for tonight. You can practice those during the week, but I also want you to practice uh, the freestyle that we we're talking about at the beginning. And I want you to find your favorite um, score, movie score for that. All right. So you actually did this movement a couple of times while you were freestyling. I thought that was pretty funny. But this one is uh, going to be your add-on to the barrel roll. And what it is, is you're going to start in the center. Come down just like our, our sidekick and our twist. But then you keep twisting under to um, a front stall here. Boom. Okay. It's parallel with the bar. Boom. And then you spin back under.
under, just like the barrel roll, to kick, back to sitting. Yeah. Other side. Boom. 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 Yep, you want to keep your belly over the center, yep. Bend back under. Kick, and then back to sitting, yep. I kind of cheated my kick there. That's right. And then the other side. I need to get pants that don't have this big bottoms. Right. I keep laying they, on. They do look good uh, on on film, but yeah, I can imagine them getting in the way. Nice. Nice. Yep, so you're figuring out the way to handle it is to move that hand down to the center of your body as you twist under. And then you can put it right back as you twist back. That's two. Nice. Didn't take the ball quite with me. When I'm by myself, I swear at the ball a lot. <laughs> I caught myself on videotape a few times. <laughs> mm -hmm. I realize if I, if I train with something that I recorded from you, I talk back to you. You don't answer, though. <laughs> Three. That would be some really good technology. <laughs> it's like uh, Fitness Siri. Nice, nice. Oh, almost had no touch. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Nice. Sweet. Learning where the ball should be on my body to do this. Yep. And I discovered lower is better. Yep. Boom. Moving that hand good. It's too hot. Oop. Beautiful. Last one. <laughs> the other side? Or was that the last one? Other side. <laughs> All righty. Very nice. All right, so practice that one this week every day and see if you can get it 10 times without touching the ground. Okay. Um, next one is playing off of our flipsy. And so from here, boom, foot next to your hand. The other foot there, arm stretches out long, and then we're going to do a diagonal curl 
reaching up to touch the tips of the fingers there. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten of those on both sides. So a twisty, crunchy thingy. <laughs> Love that technical talk. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. And I'm putting one foot on. Yep. And one yep. Hand. Yep. Hold it. No, nope, no, nope. let that hand, no, nope, no, nope. other hand. Did this hand comes down? Yep, and let it reach. Um yep. leave leave those hands right. hooked. Now release your left hand, uh, left leg straight, and then let your weight come back up on the ball and reach that hand over your head. No, 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 no. Down towards the floor, but towards your head. Yep. So from there, you're going to curl up and try to touch your fingertips on the other hand. Yep. And then back down, expand. Um, cat, 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 cat. But I must be gripping with my heels too much. Wow, mama. Are you gonna ask a cat cramp? A cat cramp, yeah. So look to me. Okay. From here, your weight was on this side of the ball. Okay. Right. When I do it. My heel comes here, this foot comes there, and my weight comes to this side of the ball. Here. And this hand comes up in that direction. Boom. And then here. Alright, let me try. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. Yep, yeah, and then let your weight go to the right side of the ball. Is that better? Yes, that is better. And then reach up and touch the fingertips. Yep, and there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good. Where do you feel that? In my neck. <laughs> that's wrong. I know that's wrong. Your neck? Interesting. Well, there's no right or wrong. No, 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 because I used my neck because I was not using my core as much. There. That's cheating. Gotcha. Awesome. Get the other side. <clears throat> <laughs> How's that look? Pretty good. Um, no one's Yep. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Stretch it out. <laughs> All right. And then to finish, I want to see uh, your dragonfly at your own most natural pace.
Way to stay low. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. How did that feel? Good. Good. I don't think I've ever seen you do it better. Oh, I'm learning to stay low. And and I think that the crazy movements you were doing tonight put your body in a place where that stuff seemed easy in comparison. Yeah. So we, we always want to confuse the system as much as possible, and then we when we come back to something normal, it's a whole lot easier. Yeah. Doesn't seem so crazy anymore. That was gorgeous. Like, go go back and watch this video, and I think you'll get a lot of stuff from watching it. But especially watch this form because I don't think I've ever seen you do it better. You need to reshoot and do it like that. Yes. Awesome. Uh, great work. You got any questions about any of the stuff we did? Uh, no, no. It was fun. You got your homework. Yes. Uh, can you remember both of those exercises? Well, I'll download, if you recorded this, I'll I download did. this and cut it. I did. Um, awesome, and I'm almost done with your uh, your names and images of the, of the poses. Okay. Good. I think, and I think that will help when you get, so you're really training people, maybe. Yeah, I'm in the process of making a uh, a manual now, so I'll have to have that for that anyway. Okay. Good. Awesome. And do you know offhand is this your uh, tenth session? I uh, um yeah, you missed one, and I'm the one that stood you up on the last one, so I will forfeit that. So we'll have one more, and then we'll need to talk about. Because we have holidays. I'm going to be in New Mexico for Christmas. But I don't think we do anything Christmas week anyway. Okay, so technically this is this is the 10th session or the 11th? It would be the 11th because I'm the one that stood you up. So we'll just oh, have but, a that, but that doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not going to charge you for a session you didn't, you didn't do. Okay. Um, well, so then we would have two more. Two more. So this is 10. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, well just uh, like look at your schedule and see see what it looks like and let's figure it out. Um, well, I'm all good for the next two weeks. I'm just thinking about, you know, between Thanksgiving, but we always do Tuesday, so I guess I don't have an excuse. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. I love not having excuses. <laughs> yeah, so I will um, see you next Tuesday. All right, same bad time, same bad channel. Okay, sounds Take good. Care. Thank you. <laughs>